Hello, I'm doing a book review, and the book I want to review is The Mist by Stephen King. Now, The Mist is a novella by Stephen King, which was first published in 1980, and it was published as part of a collection of novellas called Dark Forces, but in 1985, Stephen King republished the novella as the first story in his collection, Skeleton Crew. Then in 2007, he republished it as a standalone novella. Now, The Mist is set in a small town in Maine, and it's set after the events of a huge storm, and basically this storm does a lot of damage to the town. What happens is the book revolves around a man named David and his five-year-old son, Billy. What happens is after the storm is over, they see all the damage that the storm has done to their property, and David and his son, Billy, and their neighbor, um, go to the supermarket and basically the whole book takes place at this supermarket and what happens is while they're at the supermarket this mist rolls into town and basically um, they soon find out that this mist is a is actually inhabited by creatures and of course now they can't leave the supermarket because there are all these creatures in the mist and these creatures um there's basic they're basically a different variety of creatures like um, there are giant flies in the mist, um, there are giant spiders in the mist, and there's a part where um, the main character sees a giant lobster in the mist, and there's also a creature um, which has tentacles, and none, of, and none of the characters actually see this creature, but they see these tentacles coming out of the mist, and basically, um, you know, nobody knows where this mist came from, and it appears that this mist has engulfed the entire town and for all they know maybe even the entire planet and there are characters who start to think that maybe this mist really did engulf the entire planet and I don't want to give away what the ending is but the ending does kind of suggest that it really is the end of the world and that this mist really did engulf the entire planet but what happens is, um, like I said, um, the book revolves around this man named David and his five-year-old son, Billy, and what happens is, while they're in the supermarket, um, there's this old woman in the supermarket named Mrs., um, I hope I'm saying the name right, Carmody, um, yeah, I think that's it, Carmody, um, basically Mrs. Carmody, she's the main villain of the book, and she's basically this crazed religious fanatic, um, she reminded me a little bit of the character of Margaret White from the book Carrie, um, she's basically this religious nutcase, and what happens is she starts claiming that the mist was created by God, and that God is punishing them for their sins, and that it's judgment day. And of course, um, people don't listen to her at first, but what happens is as the book goes on, people start getting really scared, and they and they basically need somebody to listen to. They need somebody to look up to, so they start listening to Mrs. Carmody, and basically, um, Mrs. Carmody forms her own group of followers, and they're all convinced that God has created the mist, and what happens is Mrs. Carmody um, convinces the people in the supermarket that if they give the mist a human sacrifice, the mist will go away. And now David and his son Billy and a few other characters are really the only people in the supermarket who are not following Mrs. Carmody. And what happens is um, the people in the supermarket um, eventually try to sacrifice um, David's son to the mist, which I don't want to give away too much about that, but, um, the mist is an awesome novella, um, you know, I highly recommend this novella, um, and... What was I going to say? Now, in the book, they never actually tell you where the mist came from, but there is kind of a suggestion on where it may have came from. Um, basically, there's a part in the... Basically, there's this military project called the Arrowhead Project, and there's a part in the book where it's kind of suggested that maybe these... Um, maybe the military opened up a gateway to another dimension, and maybe this supernatural 
mist is from this other dimension, um, but they never actually explain where the mist actually came from. Um, it's only suggested in one part of the book, but you know, The Mist is a great novella. Um, definitely one of King's best books, in my opinion. Um, now, um, now the book is linked with the Dark Tower series because, um, you know, if you assume that um, this that the military opened up the gateway to another dimension, um, it's supposed to be linked with the Dark Tower series because in the Dark Tower series they talk about how there are all these different parallel universes, and in between these parallel universes are these spaces, and in these spaces monsters dwell, and you're basically supposed to assume that the military opened up the gateway to one of the spaces between the worlds, which are talked about in the Dark Tower series, and um, they also talk about these spaces between the worlds a little bit in the book It. Um, you know, and also in the Dark Tower series, the main character of the Dark Tower series, Roland Des Chain, does battle creatures which are similar to the creatures described in this book. Um, but yeah, that's my review on The Mist by Stephen King, and bye.